And the Oscar goes to Killian Murphy. Costumes. Lights, camera, action. The 96th Annual Academy Awards brought Hollywood alive with a mix of excitement, surprises, and head-scratching moments. From Ryan Gosling's amazing performance in I'm Just Ken, to John Cena almost showing his bare behind, it was a night filled with memorable highlights. And let's not forget the well-deserved wins for Robert Downey Jr., Wes Anderson, and Christopher Nolan. But not everything went smoothly. There were some odd musical choices and unexpected twists that left people puzzled. And we are here to uncover all of this and so much more about that fun-filled night. So let's dive right in, shall we? Let's start off strong with Oscar 2024's hard to digest and very naked reality, literally and figuratively. At the Oscars, John Cena surprised everyone by appearing on stage without any clothes on, but it was all part of a funny tribute to a wild moment from the past. At the 46th Academy Awards in 1974, David Niven was in the middle of introducing Elizabeth Taylor when a nude man, a streaker, ran across the stage. It was during the time when streaking or running around naked in public was a bizarre trend. John Cena thought that a reenactment would be a fun idea. This is how it went down. Kimmel joked about what would happen if someone streaked across the stage today. But then John, without a shirt, popped up unexpectedly. Instead of going along with the planned joke, John felt uncomfortable about it, saying it wasn't right for such a classy event. Kimmel tried to explain that it was meant to be funny, but John humorously defended the male body, saying it's not something to joke about. Eventually, John appeared on stage holding a big envelope to cover himself up which got a big laugh from the audience. Unable to open the envelope while keeping himself covered, there was a quick cut and he returned wearing a golden toga-like outfit. Now that might have been weird for some people, but the long-anticipated Barbenheimer banter was everything we expected. Before announcing the tribute for stunt performers, the Oppenheimer star Emily Blunt and the Barbie actor Ryan Gosling engaged in a friendly debate about their supposed rivalry, dubbed Barbenheimer. Ryan kicked off the banter, expressing relief that he could finally move past the Barbenheimer rivalry. Emily quickly responded, poking fun at the lack of competition given Oppenheimer's impressive award sweep across various ceremonies. Happy that we can finally uh, put this Barbenheimer rivalry behind us. That's right. The way this award season's turned out wasn't that much of a rivalry, so… For those who are unaware, Oppenheimer absolutely slayed at the Oscars. Despite being a box office hit and the most nominated film of the night, Oppenheimer's sweeping the Oscars came as a pleasant surprise to both viewers and the film's creators. Emma Thomas, one of the producers, expressed the sentiment shared by many in the industry, acknowledging the long-held dream of winning such prestigious awards. With 13 nominations, Oppenheimer secured seven wins, including Best Picture, Best Director for Christopher Nolan, Best Actor for Killian Murphy, and Best Supporting Actor for Robert Downey Jr. Now you know the context, so let's move on. As Ryan joked about why their pairing was named Barbenheimer instead of Oppenbarbie, Emily cleverly retorted with a witty remark about riding Barbie's coattails and a humorous reference to Ryan's chiseled abs. The exchange continued as Ryan attempted to clarify his point, leading Emily to playfully accuse him of Ken-splaining. However, Ryan swiftly redirected the conversation, emphasizing the importance of celebrating the stunt community. What a nice save, Ryan. What if I tell you Ryan had other tricks up his sleeve to remind everyone why he thinks Barbie stands superior to Oppenheimer? Also, Ryan isn't done with his Ken era. That is the only plausible explanation for his fire performance of I'm Just Ken at the Oscars. It featured a 40-piece orchestra, 62 dancing Kens, and over 24 gigantic Barbie heads. But the surprises didn't stop there, as Guns N' Roses made a special appearance, turning the event into one of the most unforgettable moments in award show history. Amidst speculation about Ryan's performance, it was revealed in late February that he would indeed take the stage for a song and dance extravaganza. The actor had been in talks with Oscar producers for months. Rehearsals began weeks in advance, with Ryan and his team putting in hours of practice to perfect every aspect of the performance. Despite the tight schedule, the producers and music director worked tirelessly to ensure everything ran smoothly on the big night. The idea to pay homage to Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend from Gentlemen Prefer Blondes was Ryan's own, 
The pink suit, black attire, and the setup with stairs were all inspired by Marilyn Monroe's iconic performance. Ryan was deeply involved in the choreography and structure of the performance, mapping out almost every moment. His goal was to create a spectacle that would get the entire audience on their feet and singing along, fulfilling Greta Gerwig's wish for the night. During the performance, Ryan made sure to include his fellow actresses, Margot Robbie, Greta Gerwig, and America Ferreira. Even the smallest details, like Ryan's kiss of the cameraman's hand, were meticulously planned. During the performance, something special happened. Ryan handed the microphone to Emma Stone for a moment. It reminded fans of their movie La La Land from 2016, where they played characters who struggled with love and their dreams. Even if you haven't seen La La Land, it was a big deal for fans to see Ryan and Emma together again, both getting recognized for their creative work at the Oscars. Not to forget the whole scene felt like a real-life ending to the movie itself. Emma later shared a candid confession about her dress mishap during this can off too. She won the Oscar for Best Actress for her role in Poor Things. But just as she went running to receive her awards, she was faced with a fashion mishap. As she made her way to receive the Academy Award, Emma seemed to mouth, my dress is broken. Once on stage, she addressed the wardrobe malfunction, explaining that it happened during Ryan Gosling's performance of I'm Just Ken. She hinted at some dance moves she had tried before the performance jokingly mentioning that dancing with Ryan is too irresistible to resist. But the highlight of the whole ceremony for Emma's fans would be when she clapped back at Jimmy Kimmel's joke with an eye roll. Jimmy kicked off the night with his signature wit, delivering a monologue filled with jokes, including a playful jab at Emma Stone's film, Four Things. The mention of the film's sex scenes elicited a reaction from Emma, captured in a now viral video where she can be seen rolling her eyes. Shared on X, the clip sparked a flurry of reactions, with one user remarking on Emma's response, igniting a debate among viewers. As the video circulated online, it stirred divided opinions, with some aligning with Jimmy's humor, while others rallied behind Emma. The jury is still out on that one. Moving on, the Oscars also came with a whole lot of surprises and happy tears. One prominent moment was Vanessa Hudgens' pregnancy announcement. She surprised everyone at the Oscars by subtly revealing her pregnancy on the red carpet. The actress, who was hosting ABC's pre-show, hinted at her excitement for the future by placing her hands on her belly and mentioning that she had a lot to be excited for. Wearing a stunning black Vera Wang gown with long sleeves and a turtleneck, the actress kept the focus on the stars she was interviewing, opting not to discuss her pregnancy directly during the broadcast. Alongside Julianne Huff, she dazzled on the red carpet while keeping her exciting news under wraps. This is where I tell you all of this combined can't compete with that one moment from the Oscars. It blew everyone's mind right off, and it had nothing to do with any person attending the event that day. Rather, a dog took the cake for the best moment from the night for sure. There were speculations about Messi, the border collie who stole hearts in the Best Picture nominee Anatomy of a Fall, making an appearance at the Oscars, but nobody expected the canine star to actually grace the event. Safe to say, he looked dapper in his Sunday best, adorned with a charming bow tie. That wasn't all. Throughout the evening, clips surfaced of Messi sitting attentively in the audience, blending in seamlessly with the other guests at the Dolby Theater. His impeccable manners, including clapping on cue and even participating in a round of applause, captured the attention of not only the audience, but also caught the eye of none other than Ryan Gosling. And that wraps up the most highlighted moments from this year's Oscars.